The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis, from the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We're going to have a very special guest today, folks, from the Foundation for the Study of Cycles. Uh, Richard Mogi will be our guest. He used to be the director for the Foundation for the Study of uh, Study of Cycles, and uh, is a incredibly um, influential man with cycles, so it should be uh, really a good show today. Uh, tomorrow we're going to have Rich Anderson on. Uh, Rich will be talking to us about what's happening in the grain markets. There appears to be the hedge funds have came in and just absolutely because of flow of funds, in other words, they got to put the money somewhere, has started to buy uh, a great deal of the grains with the beans and, sweet, and, and wheat and corn and stuff. But uh, we'll get to that in just a second, but uh, one of the one of the things was brought to my attention yesterday by one of our listeners here, uh, Dr. Scott from uh, Tampa. Uh, he talked to me about uh, how Shanghai had just begun uh, trading gold on April the 19th, and what they did for the exchange members to expend fees for trading from uh, uh, from April 19th all the way to June 2nd. In other words, they get a trade for free, which is a uh, you know, pretty good deal, especially if you, if you make money. If you lose money, it's not so, for, so free. But um, that's what's caused part of the uh, volatility that we're seeing here, especially in the, in the silver market. They trade silver there also and uh, through this gold-silver index that they have. And uh, it's, it's, really, uh, it's really quite amazing. So I called my, my friend that invited me to speak over there when they opened the Shanghai Exchange uh, three, I think, four, well, four years ago. And uh, he told me, yes, he said it was really pandemonium. He said they've really, uh, they're, they're acting like it was when the stocks were going up. So be careful. Uh, that's, that's all, all I can say. Uh, so we'll watch that. But Rich is going to talk to us about uh, some of that uh, uh, tomorrow. Um, had a lengthy conversation with him uh, early this morning. And um, we'll, we'll have, a, have him on the air uh, tomorrow. But we'll have Richard Mogi on at uh, the half hour, which will be good. Let's get into some of these markets. We've had a request to uh, talk about the uh, gold market today, in particular the um, market that uh, the gentleman asked for, uh, Mr. Bob, was the, uh, the gold index market. Evidently, uh, Martin Armstrong is going to be um, talking about a potential for a top in the gold uh, index and uh, I don't know if that's going to be the case or not. We'll wait and see. You know, gold is still trading, you know, thirty-five dollars under its old high at twelve eighty-six. Even though silver has gone, you know, more than a dollar uh, an ounce higher than the gold did, which was, uh, you know, quite amazing. And it it has very little liquidity, folks. So if you're trading the silver market, you better be prepared because, uh, believe me, that thing can move. Uh, it can move 15 cents with five contracts. I mean, especially at early, early hours in the morning. There's just no liquidity out there. So you've got to be very, very careful. And, uh, well, you have to be careful all the time, but be particularly careful about this. But this is the GDX. As you can see, we're about uh, 60 cents away from the major 61% retracement from the high from 2015. Uh, there's also that 1.27 expansion from 2000 and, excuse me, that was 2014, and then 2015 we have it. So the, the key thing today, and I posted it in, uh, this was the uh, thing from uh, Norm Winsky's letter, which I check each day because he's got some really great timing stuff, is that we do have, we're starting the uh, full moon and zizigy. Uh, which means that we are at the far we're at apogee this month. This means that the Earth is as far away uh, from the uh, moon as possible, and that means you know extra gravitational pull. So that can mean a uh, you know extra 
possibilities of earthquakes, but it also has to do with market uh, reaction too. Now, the first chart uh, that I posted into the um, den today was the uh, uh, that was the second one. I thought I put the wheat in first. Let's put the wheat in first because I wanted to talk to you about wheat. This is this is the one that really, if you like if you like Fibonacci numbers and if you like cycles with. Uh, uh, you know, lunar stuff, and wheat really, really moves well with wheat. Uh, uh, it, it's just uh, the moon is very, very powerful. If you'll read um, uh, Dr. Andrew Lowe's book on the evolution of technical analysis, he spends the first 50 pages of that book talking about how the Babylonians and the Sumerians, you know, had uh, these stone tablets talking about uh, wheat and uh, the planet Mercury and the moon and how it affected the prices of wheat. Uh, it's a very interesting book if you get a chance because it's, uh, you know, very, very, uh, very, very interesting to see. We'll have a, uh, we'll see what's happening and uh, we'll take a look at that. And uh, thank you all for your uh, information that you send me uh, on things that you'd like to look at and stuff. So keep an eye on it. I'm following the open interest uh, in both gold and silver to see if there's any uh, tip off here. So far, there has been not, there has not been very much. The volume on gold is five times what it is on the volume of silver. So you can imagine how much easier it is to move the silver market than it is you know, to move the gold market. So uh, the, the liquidity here is getting really scary, folks, uh, in the silver market. Usually you can trade it with a nickel stop. Uh, you can't trade it with a 25 cent stop now. It's just, uh, it's just very, very wild. So we want to watch that very closely. But getting back to this wheat, um, Steve Shapiro, uh, one of my really good buddies who helped me uh, write one of my books, uh, did a lot of work on the wheat cycle. And this is one of the ones that is very, very important. Now, last night we did hit uh, 497, which was the 61% retracement off the highs that we made in October and November. And we're coming in over the lunar cycle. So uh, be really, really aware that we could have a pretty good uh, correction uh, here in the wheat market from this point. The good part about this is is that uh, 497 has so far been the high and I don't think you have to risk more than four cents on the four or five cents at the most. So you're looking at a you know a twenty two hundred and fifty dollar potential loss with a potential gain of well over a thousand dollars. So that's a four to one risk reward risk reward ratio. So uh, keep an eye on that one. That could be a really interesting one. Uh, from a short-term perspective of, uh, you know, taking a look at the, at the buy side. We've had a couple of questions uh, about the stock market. Um, you know, we're still in an up market. It hasn't, it backed off 10 points last night in the S&P, virtually nothing. Uh, you know, we're approaching the old, uh, the, the old magical level. It's supposed to be uh, 2,100. We'll see if uh, we can make that. We're only four or five points away. So that's not uh, much of, of a problem at all. So we need to uh, keep an eye on that. Um, one of the questions that we've had about the crude oil, uh, you know, we had a really nice reaction off of that double top at the $42 level. We came down to 37 uh, well, excuse me, came down to th yeah, 37.70. Then we rallied up to the exact 786 level, uh, you know, $4 a barrel higher at 4160 and now we're heading down towards the 61 percent retracement at 39 dollars a barrel so we'll take a little break here 877-927-6648 John Logan has just announced that he is hosting a workshop Wednesday, April 20th for all TAS Profile Scanner Plus subscribers, opportunities in the current market, and strategies to profit. In this hour-long workshop, John Logan will use the TAS Profile Scanner Plus to give you a current breakdown of the sectors in the market and the opportunities that are present, as well as providing subscribers with the best strategies to trade with to profit when using this powerful piece of market scanning software. Right now, you can sign up for the TAS Profile Profile Scanner Plus at the front page of TFNN.com. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is such an amazing piece of software that we're even offering a no questions asked money back guarantee 
free for all new paying subscribers. Don't delay as John Logan's subscriber event is coming up soon. Sign up now for the Taz Profile Scanner Plus and be up and running within minutes using this powerful piece of market scanning software. With a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN. FNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Okay, folks, we're going to be looking here at this uh, XAU weekly chart going back uh, the last three years. As you can see, we're at a 61% uh, retracement of the high from 2014. Frankly, we're actually above that by about uh, 40 cents as we speak. But if you'll notice, we've had 12 weeks of higher lows in the gold-silver index, which are the, you know, the mining stocks. And, uh, you know, that's a you know tremendous outlier event. So this is not the place... Uh, to to be a buyer in in my opinion you can see the other 12 week rallies that we've had here during 2014 and 2015 and both of those you know led to pretty serious correction so I missed the the big part of it well I got well I got quite a bit of it but I missed the big part of that gold uh, because basically I haven't been involved with it uh, since about the 12 uh, 44 level, uh, but we, we bought it right, just didn't stay with the run. What really surprised me is the silver, how much silver has gone, um, you know, above the price of gold. If you remember, we talked about that silver gold ratio, how out of whack it was. Well, it's coming back in uh, big time now, so that's a uh, that's another sign that uh, you want to be uh, watching this very, very closely. Uh, we'll have Richard Mogi on in about 10 minutes from the Foundation for the Study of Cycles. But I have to tell you the, the funny story from 1989. I was invited by the Foundation to speak in Orange County. Uh, they had a beautiful office down there, one of the most beautiful uh, auditoriums for speaking that I'd ever been in. And uh, there were about 150 guests, and uh, in that room were Martin Armstrong, uh, Paul Volcker, uh, Peter Elides, a whole bunch of other folks that uh, that I knew personally that had been around. It was because of my book Astro Cycles. Doctor or Commander David Williams, who wrote a book on commodity astrology, uh, financial astrology back in the 60s, uh, was a member of the of the. Um, foundation and asked uh, if I would speak and so I did and I had a really nice uh, presentation it was about an hour and a half and about uh, about 50 minutes into it 
I was really excited because I could see I was getting some interest. We were talking about the Bradley model and stuff, and they had this incredible uh, screen that came down all automatically. And I, I was uh, we had these uh, video projectors and everything, and so I I took an indelible pencil and I started writing on the screen. And everybody started to laugh, and then I realized that this was uh, not to, to be erased, you know, and it was <laughs> it was really embarrassing, but kind of funny, but embarrassing. But anyway, I made it through okay, but I certainly remembered. And then I met a Martin Armstrong that day, and at the cocktail party, uh, his, some lady came up to me, and she said, uh, you know, what did you think of Armstrong's speech? And I said, yeah, he's fabulous. I he's the smartest guy. I said, but, you know, I've never met anybody with a bigger ego than him. She says, yeah, I know. It's my fiance. And so that was my experience with Martin Armstrong. He took it in great in great stride, as he always does. But anyway, that's a long time ago. So we'll move on to the markets. OK, um, regarding the uh, the lunar thing with wheat, that has a very high probability uh, of working, folks. It, it really does. Now, it could be a day off because the full moon is not until the 21st, but it actually starts. If you go out tonight and, you know, look, you'll see how bright it is. And it's just, uh, you know, it's really amazing because, you know, we're into the springtime, so the, the moon is starting to get higher in the sky. So we'll watch this. Uh, uh, that's all part of this apogee and perigee stuff that we're, that we're looking at. Remember that Pythagoras did this. Back in 600 B.C., he knew about apogee and perigee. So uh, that boy was pretty smart. All right. We uh, looks like the market is uh, is going to be up again today. We sold off a little bit overnight, and now it's coming back. The question is, is whether we're going to top on this full moon. Remember, we topped on a full moon. What well, was a new moon that we topped on on May the 19th? And uh, that's we also had a Mercury retrograde at that time, and we had Mr. Winsky on the uh, on the tube. And Norm has issued a sell signal uh, either today or tomorrow. He thinks it's going to be one of these two days. Uh, remember, he has only given us five of those uh, over the last uh, what eight or nine months, and um, all of them have worked. Now, of course, I told Norm, I said the first one that you lose, buddy, your history. And uh, that was a little bit of a joke, so we'll see. Now, with the uh, some of the other markets around the world, just from a general uh, standpoint, is the German DAX made a 61% retracement of the whole move down. Uh, the Hang Seng Index has made a 61% uh, retracement of the move from uh, early um, – uh, early fall, uh, October, November area. So we do have some Fibonacci numbers up in this area. The one thing that is really troubling from a bearish standpoint is the fact that we finally got a breakout in the New York Stock Exchange Index where it actually went above the 61% uh, retracement uh, by a little bit. Now, uh, it, it's interesting because the uh, it went above it by a little bit, but a little bit is you know one one percent, and we don't have a lot of tolerance with this because this thing could easily run uh, up to the seven eight six if it uh, if it gets really bullish, and this could take the S and P maybe into new highs at uh, you know at twenty one uh, thirty. The the key level uh, from my perspective of a you know potential breakout would be twenty one oh two to twenty one ten. Uh, in the S&P futures. Now, the NASDAQ is still lagging very badly. That head and shoulders pattern that we looked at is still in place. Uh, the market went above the 786 by about 20 points yesterday and then took it all back and, uh, you know, is still closing below it. So these are, you know, some divergences that we're seeing here. But uh, when you add that to the fact that we're over this lunar phenomenon, and I certainly uh, follow this stuff relatively well, I would be uh, a little hesitant to be buying stocks up in this area, and we'll see what happens as we uh, get into Thursday, and uh, we'll, uh, which will be tomorrow. The way you do that is you add one day, and you'll be right there. So keep an eye on that. That's the interesting one to, uh, to watch. The IWM has also moved up a little bit, and uh, that's another reason that uh, things are happening uh, relatively well. Now, the Treasury bonds last night uh, had made a, um, you know, we, we had a minor low in the bonds yesterday, and then we rallied up to the 61% retracement of the previous day's high and then started to sell off again. And that was another reason why the bonds began to, uh, well, not the bonds, but that's when the stocks began to rally from the uh, 
2087 level uh, in the S and P, and then we've rallied up to the, you know, 2098 level, you know, one more one more time. So we're probably going to be starting out here uh, a strong one more uh, one more time is what I would think. But we'll be a little bit early in the morning to see if that's going to happen. Let's uh, get one second here, and we will see what we have going on. Yes, we also have a, um, a seasonal. Uh, Marshall has uh, given us some, um, uh, reminded me anyway, that we do have a seasonal coming in that is one of the stronger ones, which is sell in May and go away. And if you remember, the sell in May on May the 19th of last year uh, was certainly a big one because the market had its uh, biggest correction in, in quite a while. Uh, and it made the double bottom on August the 24th, again on uh, January 20th. So that's another uh, key figure, you know, to keep a, to keep an eye on. So that's that seasonal will come in, but you know that I don't know what the astrological implications are. All I know is that we're over this, uh, we're over this full moon with uh, apogee. You have to pay attention to this, uh, in, in my opinion. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. <laughs> Okay, folks, we're going to have Richard Mogi on in just a few seconds, but I wanted to uh, also bring you up to date. Steve Rhodes uh, from here at TFNN has just uh, texted me to let me know that, uh, well, it wasn't text because I don't 
to have text, but he let me know by instant message that uh, we have a P index date yesterday of three, and we have one uh, today of 16. Those index dates are extremely important. Frank Tauscher from the Super Traders Almanac, uh, he lived and died by those timing signals. So we got a lot of stuff happening lunar wise. So let's switch over and we'll talk to the real master of cycles, Richard Mogi, former director of the Foundation for the Study of Cycles. Richard, are you on with us? Oh, I hope I uh, hope we make it. Uh, Richard, are you there? Yes. Oh, good. Well, we're uh, on the air here, and uh, what we've done is we've posted your first chart uh, showing the cycles for the uh, U.S. dollar index. Do you want to go through that? Yeah, the uh, dollar uh, has a very strong 15-and-a-half-year cycle, and what's important about it is that the bottoms are very wide in this cycle and the top's very sharp. But since the euro, uh, since the introduction of the euro, uh, right after the year 2000, uh, this uh, chart has compressed dramatically. So the uh, dollar and all uh, forex uh, uh, used to be a trending market, but it's getting tighter and tighter and tighter. And we're now forecasting the dollar is going to sink down to 95 to 85 level and get in a trading range for the next year or so. Okay, that's really interesting. Now, the next one, I you're going to get a lot of uh, interest from our viewers because we have a, a strong interest in the gold market, and we'll put this one up. And uh, so we have your gold chart up uh, showing the cycles, and then I wanted to, to ask you a question about the cycles that we're, that we're watching anyway. So fire away. Yeah, the, um, the main cycle in gold is about 30, 31 years, and you get these major tops like we did in 1980 and just uh, – in uh, 2011, uh, 2012, these are, and then the market comes down and makes a correction, and then it stays in a trading range for about 15 uh, years or so. And we've seen most of the downside in gold, and then I have that other red cycle, which is a seven and a half year cycle. And so now we are looking for a seven and a half year cycle. Uh, uh, to move higher, just like we did in 1985. You can see early in the chart, we put a low in in 1985, and we moved up to a 1987 high. And that's what we're expecting over the next couple of years. We think this is the beginning of a bullish move, but in the context of a trading range for the next uh, 15 years. So do you think do you think we'll make new highs above 1932? Uh, we could, but the chances are no. We think okay. that we'll have about uh, we'll get up to eighteen, nineteen hundred dollars an ounce, but uh, we don't expect uh, new highs unless the world goes bonkers, and it has every reason. Uh, we have every reason to expect that it might. <laughs> That's for sure, uh, Richard. The question that has come up is about the cycle program that you're using, where they're where you're watching the 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 red and blue blue cycles being formed. Could you explain to us uh, the derivation of this cycle program and uh, your involvement? I think you were doing yeah. this with Stephen, weren't you, at the same time? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Uh, we um, um, I wrote the software back in the well, I a friend of mine and I wrote the software back in the 1980s. And uh, it's still available, and it, it can automatically do cycles and put them on the screen so that anybody can use it. It's, and it is currently available. So what, it's what does it cost? Fourier uh, analysis. That doesn't use fast Fourier transforms, and I won't get into all the technical side. But it's a robust program that finds cycles. And it was and a, where, a, where would uh, someone find out about Dewey. that? Oh, they can uh, they can give me a call or email me either one at, at rmogi at comcast dot net. Rmogi at comcast dot net. Okay, and yeah. how about the phone number? Oh yeah, that's seven one seven four two six zero one two eight. Zero one two eight. Okay, that sounds uh, that sounds pretty good. Now the cycles. Uh, when you were first, uh, you've been doing this thing with the foundation for many many years. Were yeah. you able to? Uh, were you around to meet Gertrude Shirk back in the old yes, days? Yes, I was. Uh, yes, I was, and uh, she she taught me cycle analysis. That's oh my goodness! Yeah, I met her a few times uh, over the years. I, I was, didn't get to meet Mr. Dewey, but uh, what a what a real princess she was. She was the yeah, foundation was, of that and place. She was an expert statistician. That's she came from the Westinghouse Corporation, 
After yeah. George Westinghouse had that fiasco with Nikola Tesla, mm-hmm. uh, which, uh, you know, he, saw, he gave Nikola Tesla a, a tenth of a cent for every kilowatt he developed, and he had, he had to beg Tesla to get out of that deal and did, uh, finally. But uh, he hired uh, uh, a host of statisticians to predict the future because he said, I can never make a deal like that again. I would have bankrupted him. <laughs> that's that's really interesting. Now you you've uh, you've lived in Pennsylvania where the foundation was most of your life. Are you from that area? No, correct? I'm not. I, Larry, I I lived. Uh, I was born in Connecticut, moved to California in the '60s, and I lived there till the '90s. And uh, then the foundation moved from California back east, and I came back with it. And okay, I started well. with the foundation in '88. Okay, that's that's really good. Now the next one we're going to be looking at has another uh, great deal of interest uh, to our folks here, and that has uh, the uh, crude oil. Now we're going to yes. be we've got about two minutes or so, and then we'll move into the uh, stock market stuff. So why don't we cover the oil right now? Well, uh, crude oil is in a in in both a seasonal move higher and a cyclic move. The red cycle is a forty five week cycle, very strong. And uh, crude has a 45 and a 52-week cycle. So the 52, they're they're almost identical, but and they both are telling the same uh, story: higher prices uh, into June. And we expect crude to get up uh, by the t- by the time of the year. We expect it to get up 45 dollars a barrel by June, and over 58 dollars a barrel by the end of the year. The, Little cycle, uh, which is not a little cycle, but it's a little less than six months, and it's due to top, and we're supposed to have a little pullback here in April and May, and then finally moving up to its high in the summer. Okay, that makes very good sense. One other question that I had, we've got a minute here to the break, is um, did you uh, ever work on any of the uh, the uh, lunar cycles or astral cycles? Yes, that- yes, I, yes. And as a matter of fact, my program uh, has uh, built in, uh, uh, you know, uh, all the astro cycles and planetary cycles, of both helio and geo. Oh, that's good. That's uh, I, in fact, we like those. We have some guests on. You know, we follow some of that. But uh, it's always interesting to hear other people do that. I know Mr. Dewey was certainly interested. Uh, he was very uh, Dewey yeah. was very very interested, and yeah. he uh, spent the last years of his life, in fact, working on uh, planetary cycles. Had a very interesting article called "Mercury in Space." And if anybody's interested in that, it's a very oh, incredible Oh, I am. I, I'm definitely, 80, I'll call you about this. I want to see yeah, that I'd one be happy because to I love Mercury. Yeah. We're going to take a break. Stay with us, Richard, please. Thanks. Richard Mogi for the Foundation of Study of Cycles, R. Mogi at Comcast.net. If you're looking to discover a new financial resource and diversify your financial portfolio, don't miss out on the Market Safe Commodity Solutions CD from EverBank. This is the second running of their popular five-year U.S. dollar-denominated CD, which gives you exposure to eight equally weighted commodities, including WTI crude oil, gold, silver, copper, nickel, soybeans, corn, and sugar. With annual pricing caps of 70% per component, you can earn up to 70% upside payment at maturity if the commodities increase in value across annual pricing dates. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There's no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this indexed CD. Don't miss out. Take advantage of this financial resource designed to grow with the times. The May 19th funding deadline is quickly approaching. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member. F-D-I-C. It's 2016, and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber 
as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're talking with Richard Mogi, former director of the Foundation for the Study of Cycles. And now we're going to go into the pull the rabbit out of the hat, and we're going to talk about the stock market cycles. So fire away, Richard. We're looking at the S&P 500 index yeah, on a weekly basis. Yeah, and we're looking at a, a weekly chart with a 16-plus-week cycle. And this tells a story of a back-and-forth market since August. I was convinced that we were in a bear market at the end of August, beginning of September. Then I was convinced we had exited the bear market and that we were going to have a very short-lived correction, and then it went back down again. So I'm right at the, uh, the uh, cusp of saying, is this a bull or a bear? And right now the market has to stop and go down if it's a bear. But if it doesn't, the bottom line is it's going to have to correct here regardless of what it is. And, and the 16-week cycle shows that. But it's been a bear of a bear. Indeed, it's had to give it a little bit of everything to everybody, for sure. Richard, yeah. on the on your chart on this S and P, you have some really interesting uh, signals where you talk about the the true strength and then the signal line. You don't have to tell us what those are, but yeah, can you the, give the, us an idea? The um, magenta line uh, in the main chart is a uh, Jim Hurst uh, half cycle projection. He called it. Uh, a future line of demarcation, FLB. Is that a half span moving average? Is that what that That's was? That's exactly. It's, it's sure. a, the median price pushed forward yeah. by half the cycle length. Yeah, and Peter Lydes is it's, a master. It's just man. met its uh, its target at this point, and so that's why I'm saying I haven't given up on the bear side yet, but I'm mm -hmm. close. I'm really close. But yeah, uh, that's a that's a Jim Hurst technique. Yes, I remember my good friend Peter Lydes uh, done a great deal of work with those uh, half span moving average projections. Yeah, that's, so when yeah, I, he learned it right from Jim Hurst himself. You know, yeah, every yeah. single great cycle analyst studied under Jim Hurst, Walter yeah. Bressert, Jake yeah. Bernstein, Peter Lydes, they all did. I remember being in the meeting that Hearst uh, gave in uh, 1970 in San Francisco, was where I first met John Hill, and there were about okay. I think there were about 80 of us there, and I I had known Peter since uh, 1965 when I lived in uh, Southern California. He was a musician at the time. Yeah, and he of course, a piano player. Yes, he was. Yeah, and his his next door neighbor was my best friend Eddie Horwitz, uh, the attorney. Oh. So we we hung out together quite a bit. And Peter's still going strong, and his son George uh, is now uh, you know pretty good in the markets too. So it's interesting. Yeah, I'm going to try to get Peter on. George but... was just a little boy when last I saw him. So yeah, I can everybody grows up. Was... 
Yeah, it's amazing. I've been around for so long. Well, listen, I want to thank you for being on. And if you'd be so kind as to uh, send me that Mercury article, uh, I would I really like that, to look Larry. at that. Um, I'll do, and I'll send you a copy of my program, too. Oh, please do. And, and I, what I'll do is I'll give the information to the folks here at TFNN so they can reach you. But the phone number is 417, excuse uh, me, 717-426-0128. Yeah. That's it. Oh, Richard, thank you for being our guest. I certainly Real appreciate pleasure, it. And I wish you the best of luck. And tell Stephen I said hello. I will do that. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you very much. Bye. Okay, that was Richard Mogi, former director of the Foundation for the Study of Cycles. Uh, the Stephen that I referred to was Stephen Bush. Stephen happens to be another Ph.D. that uh, uh, ha, uh, he and R Richard worked together uh, quite a bit. And so uh, he's another person that is very, very uh, instrumental uh, in the cycle. So uh, try to get a different view of all these different things. Sometimes they're astro cycles. You know, sometimes they're, uh, you know, nominal cycles or whatever they happen to be. Um, someone asked a question about uh, Walt Bressert. Uh, Walt has um, has really uh, come across bad times physically. Uh, he's had Alzheimer's for the past uh, few years. In fact, I haven't even heard from his son um, for you know quite a while. So I, I hope that he's okay. But uh, he had literally had uh, you know just basically gone away. He wasn't able to recognize uh, anybody. So we'll see what's uh, see what's going on uh, with that. It's uh, if you if you folks want a copy of this uh, Mercury in Space that uh, Richard Mogi uh, talked about, uh, just send me a check for five hundred dollars and I'll see that you get it. Either that, or you could email me and I will send it to you for free. So uh, I'm sure it'll be good. And, and believe me, Mercury is really worth looking at because uh, you know if uh, Rich if uh, Andrew Lowe talked about uh, the Babylonians and the Sumerians and you know, back 5,000 years ago, we ought to pay attention to it. So we'll take a look at that and uh, see what's uh, see what's going on. But we'll get that uh, that to you just as soon as I get it from uh, from the same thing. Uh, if you if you have to reach me, it's very simple. It's my name, uh, Larry Pesavento at uh, gmail dot com, and uh, I will you know take it might take me a you know a day or so to get it out to you because I don't know when Richard will send it to me. And we'll get it. Let me let me write it. It's my name, Larry Pesavento at gmail.com. And uh, that's what we're looking at here. So we'll keep an eye uh, on that. So we'll watch it uh, a little better. Okay. Now, we are hitting something else uh, very important right now. We are hitting the 61% retracement in the banking index this morning, the BKX. So keep a really close eye on it, folks. It's going to be really interesting what it does from here. That's part of the Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, you know, the bank's too big to fail stuff. So, you know, watch it uh, very, very closely. But we have some really heavy lunar stuff uh, coming on along with the P indexes. Now, the Pesavento indexes were uh, an idea of Dr. Ruth Miller. Uh, she was my mentor in uh, financial astrology. I wanted to call her the Miller Index, but she wouldn't let me do that. And so uh, my good friend Frank Tauscher, who was the uh, author of the Super Traders Almanac, Richard was probably uh, on the same level of uh, Amos Hostetter as far as being uh, one of the greatest traders that I ever met. He would enter these contests that they have where people would, you know, play with, uh, you know, uh, paper money to see who would be the best trader. He would never do that. He would enter with real money. And he always made somewhere between four and ten times what the uh, next place. He always won it. And he always, uh, he would go four to ten times more money than the second place finisher. That's how good he really was. He died at the age of 59 in Tulsa. Uh, Oklahoma, walking across the street with his son, he took a step, and that was it. He had a um, a, a aortic aneurysm, and uh, you die instantly, and that's what we lost him at that point. But boy, what what a smart guy he was, and uh, it was really uh, really sad to see him uh, to see him leave us. But boy, he was one heck of a good trader, and he was incredibly uh, philanthropic. Boy, he really he gave a lot. 
you know, to uh, not just to the business, but to uh, people that were in need. He was strongly uh, in favor of philanthropic things, and 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 so is Larry Williams, and and uh, these guys. They do it very quietly. They don't, you know, make, you know, they're, they're like Buffett and and Gates and all these other guys where they give, you know, all their wealth away, and they say they're going to give all their wealth away. Well, they have to because they can't take it with them. Hello, you know, give me a break. Anyway, everybody does good things. Try to do something nice for your fellow man. You're going to be okay. That's the bottom line is what it looks like to me. So we'll see. Just be careful here in this silver and gold markets, folks, especially uh, in the silver market. It's very, very illiquid out there. 877-927-6648. I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, we are um, finishing up the show now. Uh, we've been talking to Richard Mogi about the gold market and uh, uh, he thinks that we are in a really strong possible uh, new high move in gold but maybe not for a while the one thing that we've seen so far in the gold silver index that we've been up 12 straight weeks with higher lows 
Uh, that in itself is an outlier event. We've seen this two other times in 2014 and 2011, both times after those 12 week runs, we had uh, severe corrections. So we're watching to see what happens. We want to be buyers of gold. Um, not so much silver because it's a little bit illiquid. I love uh, if you're going to buy silver, buy the silver rounds. We've always said that here at TFNN, either up or down. You want to own, own some of those silver coins. They're not only beautiful uh, from a numismatic uh, uh, standpoint, but they're, they, they get more valuable. And uh, I, I particularly like gold and silver coins uh, as an investment. Now, the one thing that we might want to watch, and th there's always this possibility here because we're over this uh, really strong lunar cycle, that we could get above this uh, 2110 level, and that would tell us that we're most probably going to make new highs in the stock market. And that's going to break the, uh, the uh, long-term uh, cycle that we've looked at with this five-wave uh, expanding triangle uh, in the uh, stock market going back you know, to uh, 19, uh, let me see, yeah, 1999. So that's going to be, I don't, I think it'll be a false breakout, but that's just my opinion. And remember, opin opinions are like armpits. Everybody has one and it usually smells. So uh, keep that in mind. We want to watch that uh, very, very closely. Anyway, I hope that uh, everybody enjoyed the program. I'm going to have some other guests. I'm going to try to get Peter Elides on here. He's another cycle guy that Richard Mogi uh, talked about. Peter and I have been friends for well over 50 years. I hope to get him on uh, shortly. Uh, and we'll have uh, also, we're going to try to get Larry Williams on also. But both those guys are so darn busy, it's really difficult. 877-927-6648. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.